Let's talk about a world without net neutrality. Last Tuesday, the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals struck down the FCC's open Internet order, the legal framework that was supposed to protect net neutrality. And while net neutrality sounds complicated, it's really not. Basically, the idea behind it is that big Internet service providers, the company that bring it into your house, Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, should, should have to treat all websites and all Internet users the same and should not be allowed to promote some forms of content over others. For example, with net neutrality rules in place, Comcast wouldn't be able to slow down your access or charge more for you to access, for example, ESPN.com, just because they wanted, Comcast wanted to, you to use a sports news website that they happen to own or operate. But thanks to the D.C. Circuit Court's ruling, Internet service providers like Comcast are well on their way to being able to discriminate between websites and to make the owners of competitor websites pay more money to run their websites at higher speeds or reach American consumers. So what will the end of net neutrality mean for you, the consumer? Back in 2009, Reddit user Quink created a graphic detailing what Internet prices might look like without net neutrality. Since last week's court ruling, that graphic has gone viral, and it does a great job detailing a, word without, a world without net neutrality. The graphic talks about a fictional Internet service provider named Telco. With Telco, in a world without net neutrality, you get basic Internet service for $29.95 a month. But good luck finding any websites you can access with that plan. That's because in a world without net neutrality, Internet service providers will be able to package websites, a lot like cable providers do with TV channels. For example, if you're a search engine user, love to look up things on Google, Bing or, Yahoo, Bing or Yahoo, then Telco could charge you an extra five bucks a month for access. Or what if you're a real news junkie and like taking in the news from a global perspective? Telco, Telco would charge you another five dollars for access to international new websites like the BBC's. You don't think that, you don't think that Telco will give you access to US-based news for free. No, nope. it wants you to pay another five dollars a month for access to American news websites like CNN, the Huffington Post, the New York Times. So say you're done reading the news and now you want to watch the latest viral YouTube hit or an episode of your favorite TV show on Netflix. To do either of those things, you're going to have to pay Telco an extra $10 to $15 a month. Finally, so let's say you're a big online shopper. You live for those Cyber Monday deals before Christmas every year. Well, if you want access to sites like Amazon, eBay, or Overstock.com, you'll have to pay Telco another $5 a month. You can easily see how costs add up in a, not, in a world without net neutrality. Suddenly, you're forced to choose between having access to Internet search engines or having access to news on the Internet. If net neutrality rules stay off the books for good, Internet service providers like Comcast and Verizon and AT&T will be able to turn even the most basic of things that you and I do right now and take for granted on the Internet into cash cows. You're looking up the weather, reading the news, shopping online. All of those things will become profit opportunities for Verizon or Comcast. Right now, it's unclear if the FCC's plans to appeal last week's decision. Let's help the FCC's decision a lot, make, it, make that decision a lot easier, and stand up for free and open internet for all. Go to freepress.net and sign the petition.